So here it says when the smaller of two consecutive integer, so the smaller one is x, the one the larger one then would be uh, must be one more than that. That would be the larger one. So x plus one would be the larger one. Large integer. So here it says when the smaller of two consecutive integers, so it would be x, is added to plus two times two times two times what? Two times the larger integer. And the larger integer we establish is it would be x plus 1 then. It should add up to 11. This is how you set up the equation. OK, can I see a check mark next to your name if you follow how to set up the equation? If this were uh, even or odd integer, then uh, the first uh, number would be x. The next one would be x plus 2 instead of x plus 1. Remember, if they're odd or even integers, the second integer would be x plus 2. OK, I still don't get response from everyone. So could you please put a check mark next to your name if you can follow this? OK, Kathleen, are you going to give me a response? OK. Um, so then you have to just simply solve for this. You have to distribute. You get x plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 11. So here would be 3x plus 2 is equal to 11. And then you can subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. So here we have 3x is equal to 11 minus 2. So you get 3x is equal to 9. So x equals to 9 over 3, so it's equal to 3. So the first number here is, is 3. The one next to it would be one more than that. So it must be 4. So two, uh, two numbers that we are talking about would be 3 and 4. And, and you can check your answer easily. If you take the first number and double the second number, it should add up to 11. 2 times 4. 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. It works. OK, check mark if you all can follow this, please. X if you don't follow.